For complete setup, preventive maintenance, and safe operating instructions, please read the operator's manuals that have been enclosed with this tool package. The Hook Model BTT35LS is a hydraulic installation tool specifically designed to install and remove bobtail fasteners in limited clearance applications. To disassemble the tool, begin by removing the handle. The handle has four screws in all that need to be removed. Once the screws have been removed, pull the handle off and slide it back. Next, break loose and remove the return pressure hose, which is the center hose. Using an Allen wrench, remove the port screw that allows oil to flow from one piston to the other. The BTT35LS features twin pistons. Now we need to remove the shroud so that you have easy access to the rear piston. First, remove the spiral lock retaining ring. Next, slide off the sleeve. Then, remove the locator buttons. Next, slide the shroud off the back of the tool. Remember, the shroud is designed to protect the user from the seal leakage. Now you're ready to remove the rear piston. Using a rag to help position the tool facing upward. Using a large wrench, loosen and remove the rear piston. Empty any oil that may be in the rear of the cylinder. Next, using an Allen wrench, remove the front gland locking screw. Remove the front gland. Pull the front piston out of the cylinder. Now, we'll reassemble the piston. To assemble the piston into the cylinder housing, first replace all interior and exterior O-rings. Install a light coating of grease on the main piston and also on the shaft that runs through the center of the cylinder. Now gently tap with a rubber or brass mallet until it bottoms out. Lightly grease the O-ring seals, inner and outer. Next. Turn the tool upright and begin threading in the front gland. Continue threading using a spanner wrench until the front gland is completely installed. Next, thread the front gland back out until it lines up with one of the grooves for the set screws. Then, tighten the set screw to lock the gland in position. Next, we'll install the rear piston. To make installation easier, first move the rear piston to the back position. Turn it around. Apply grease to the rear piston and inner and outer seals. Turn the cylinder until the rear piston seal bottoms out. Use a rag to help position the tool. Next, use the wrench to tighten the rear piston to the front piston. Then back out the rear piston to line up the ports. Use a long rod and check to make sure ports are lined up. Once ports are lined up, install a hollow cap screw into the port to lock the rear piston in place. Next, slide the rear shroud over the cylinder. Install the locator buttons. Next, slide the retaining sleeve over the shroud and locator buttons. Then install the spiral lock ring in the groove. Next, reinstall the hose. 
Tighten the hose with a wrench and slide the rubber hose reliefs and gasket back in place. Next, slide the handle in place and attach and tighten the four Allen cap screws. Now the tool is ready to be tested. First, inspect the tool for any leaks. Start by cycling the piston a few times. Inspect the front and the back for leaks. To install the nose for bobtail installation, thread the bobtail puller onto the piston until it bottoms out. Then lock it in place with three lock screws. Tighten the lock screws in place with an Allen wrench. Next, cycle the piston all the way back and thread on the anvil holder until it gets tight. Let go of the trigger. Notice that the puller is in the forward position and centered in the holder. Continue to thread the anvil holder down until it bottoms. Once the holder is bottomed, install the lock screw, turn the holder out, and lightly run the screw down until you find one of the grooves in the front gland. Tighten the screw into the groove. Note, you'll know you've reached the groove correctly if the lock screw is flush or below the cylinder. Using a 20 mm bobtail fastener with a standard bobtail flange color, slide washers onto the fastener to simulate the material to be joined. Spin the collar on. Put the fastener in and hold down the trigger. Once the fastener bottoms, let go of the trigger. The fastener was successfully installed with all indicators marked.